Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on an E46. Uh, we have the uh, seat recognition uh, sensor um, broke uh, on this car. So now you have the warning. Let me see. You have the warning there. There. The second one there. For the airbag. Uh, we are, have already scanned this car and uh, it came back with the uh, seat recognition sensor on that seat there. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be emulating that sensor in a way that if you have an accident the both airbags this one and that one will deploy you can also do it in a way that that one will never deploy but that's not safe uh, it's better if they both de deploy even if you are alone in the car so let's go ahead to the other side and remove the plug underneath So the plug goes right under the seat. If you put your hand here, you can remove the plug. Like this. Let me twist it and pull it out just to see what we have. Well, I guess there's something wrong with this. I have to investigate what this is. Where is um, the other plug? Well, anyway. Let's do this. Someone has already been playing. This is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to my bench. So we are going to take this tape off and we are going to see what has been done in this car. Okay, so let's try to figure out what has been done here. Uh, okay. Okay. So someone has been playing with this. And they didn't manage to do it. So. I really don't like to mess with other people work but also this is not the way to do it it's not just a diode uh, however there's a diode involved as well but not only a diode let me see how, it, how this is attached here beautiful job look at this look at this come on Oh my god. And it's I can tell you that this has been done for a while already in this car. Because at least this side is uh, soldered still. There's not this is not the good the job. So, I usually don't uh, cut these wires, usually I just make a plug and play a module that plugs right here, I have this plug 
here. As you can see, it fits right there. So, I'm going to show you now what's involved on building this board. So, you need a, um, a piece of, uh, of a circuit board, a, a prototyping board. Um, then you need a 4.7K resistor, uh, which comes this way, down here, and uh, on this way as well. And then here you have a, um, a diode, a 4148 diode, and uh, the exit of the diode, which is the, the, the part with the black uh, band here uh, goes to the blue wire. Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, cut these wires here and solder these directly there. So I'm going to start to <clears throat> I'm going to start to by cutting this part. And this part. I want to pull too hard on the wires inside the box. So, like this, and like this. <clears throat> now I'm going to cut this this part here of the board. Put it aside like that. Bit of flux. Now I'm going to remove the uh, little piece of blue here because I just wanted to mark where the blue would go. in these two wires here like that now I already know that this is the blue part like so and this is the white one So now this is done, it's as easy as this, uh, usually you don't even have to, to plug the computer to the car to diagnose it, but still uh, I'm going to do that, I'm going to fit this, um, the light will go out, and after that I'm going to perform a diagnose so I can... Um, Erase the, the memory. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me see if I can show it to you better. Don't forget the, the exit of the diode goes to the blue wire. So let's go back to the car, put this in, and see how, it's, how, it, how it performs. I'm just going to put some shrink tube over here. Um, on this part here, so it gets protected and there is no short cuts. Okay, so this is the <clears throat> final product here with the shrink um, tube in. Now I'm going to upload this to the box itself 
so it doesn't keep you know dangling down the, the, the seat under the seat there so I'm just going to put some up glue here and glue it in place just like so So here we are, we are back in the car. Let's just get the plug and just connect it, connect it like this. Yeah, to make sure that the uh, ignition has been turned on and then cycle it back again and you see if it goes away. Okay, so it doesn't go away. Probably this car I will need to put the, um, the diagnostics. I'm gonna connect the, the computer to the port. It's the round port out there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to be using my x pad to perform a diagnosis on this. So, okay, Europe, BMW. Uh, manual selection, which is faster, E46. Diagnosis, system, body, and ZAE airbag read okay so we have here two uh, DDC codes uh, the diagnostic has been done previously however they said that there was only um, the problem with the seat recognition there but still okay so no faults no the light is off let me see if that one was temporary let me just cycle the ignition off and stayed off okay so perfect it means that uh, our fix worked still no fault so yeah guys this is the way uh, to do a emulator for the uh, uh, seat uh, recognition uh, or a passenger or a cup occupancy uh, recognition sensor or something like that it depends on where you're from um, anyway even if you're from America, from Europe, it doesn't matter. The process and the emulator, it's uh, always done uh, the same way. The plug is always in the back there, as you saw. Uh, you don't have to cut that. You can do and use the, the original plug that comes from the, um, the sensor uh, to the, the module, the, the little box there. Don't cut the, the plug on the module, cut the plug that comes from the sensor. And then you can use that plug to build an emulator just like we did and uh, plug it directly to the, to the module there. Um, so if you guys like this video, please uh, don't forget thumbs up, subscribe to the channel will be posting more content about uh, this type of um, uh, topics you know and um, so yeah guys please um, don't forget to subscribe and like uh, thank you uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next video